Hello everyone, this is Mike and you are watching Really. So, the death of US Grammy winning rapper Julio in September 2022 was due to the effects of ventanyl and other drugs, his manager has said. The artist was found unresponsive on the bathroom floor of a friend's LA house six months ago. He was 59, Julio, whose real name was Artis Leon Jr. won a Grammy for the 1995 track Gangster's Paradise. The hit later chosen as the soundtrack to the film Dangerous Minds went on to become one of the most successful rap songs of all time, helping to bring the genre into the mainstream. It continues to be widely listened to and has passed a billion views on YouTube. While Coolio has recently used PCP, his death was as a result of the effects of a cocktail of fentanyl, heroin, and uh, you know some other drug. Coolio started making music in the 80s, where he cemented his place in hip hop history when he recorded Gangster's Paradise. He was born in Pennsylvania, but grew up in the LA suburb of Compton, where his career flourished and he became a leading figure in the US West Coast rap music scene in the 90s. His rap monkey came from a conversation with a friend who asked him, who do you think you are, Coolio? According to the Black Names Project website, he worked as a volunteer firefighter in the San Jose area before dedicating himself full-time to hip-hop. A talented producer and actor, he appeared in dozens of films and TV shows, including Celebrity Big Brother in the UK, in 2009 and he even found an outlet for his love of food with a book and internet series cooking with coolio over a career spanning for decades he recorded eight studio albums and won an american music award and three mtv video music awards his other hits included fantastic voyage rolling with my homies one two three four and stuff like that so thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel